This now, what you're watching right now is basically like watching Michael Jordan. Martin Scully looking at Merck. I've been doing this since I was 15 years old, man. It's always bad news when there's an update. I don't know how they got this deal. God bless them. 1.35 billion. Woo! Merck's never done good deals. I guess Seattle Genetics will soon be a part of Merck at some point. This I was super surprised by, and I doubt it works, but I'm just a Moderna hater in, in a lot of ways. I think Moderna's a short. All right, I haven't opened my Biomarin file in a while. Okay. Biomarin's 109. Biomarin almost as much property plant equipment as NVIDIA. And making uh, biopharma pseudicals is about as hard as making semiconductors, so it kind of makes sense. I'd say semiconductors is harder to make than biopharma. One of them you, you put in your computer, one of them you put in your veins. I miss my cat Trashy. She is a lovely little furry furball who's having a blast. I saw her playing the other day with my, my pop. Uh, Trashy thinks that's her dad now. That's not your dad, that's my dad. What are you doing? He may treat you like a baby, but that's not your dad. I don't know. I wish I could see a picture of Trashy right now. She's my little mush mush. My little mush mush. Trashy has an Instagram. It's a uh, Trashy Shkreli's cat, I believe. Sometimes you get some exclusive trashy photos there, but she's just a cat. She's just a normal, regular old cat, you know? Now she's just an old cat. Ooh, wow, Vox Zogo, selling like crazy. That is the great hope for Biomarin. All right, so Biomarin had a good quarter, still no sales of Rocklatan, but I think we get that next quarter, don't we? All right, so March 31st, Padufa for Roctavian. Almost certainly to be extended, I suppose. Um, just some APIs that I'm monitoring. This is from IEX. This is from another data provider. I actually made this one open source. All right, so we got Merck. Probably make some quick analysis of Merck. $110.20 Merck. Merck is now the fourth largest drug company, slightly ahead of Roche. Oh, Merck Body Macho. February 2nd, Merck will report. That's still a ways away. So these guys weren't public very long. And then that's all she wrote. Bomedemstat. Bomedemstat. Oh, it big, an LSD-1 inhibitor? No way. There's a million LSD-1 inhibitors. Merck such bad M&A. Oh my god. You can have, you can buy an LSD-1 inhibitor for a million bucks. What a joke. Merck is the worst M&A company ever. They just buy companies as a favor. I think. That's how they do M&A. Like, there's no other explanation. I don't even have to look at the clinical trial data. Like, I know this thing doesn't work. LSD-1 doesn't regulate anything. LSD-1, by the way, has nothing to do with LSD. Enzyme that plays a central role in production of blood cells and bone marrow. Come on. It's a lysine-specific demethylase. It's a kind of an epigenetic target. Gotta be kidding me. I don't know how they got this deal. God bless them. 1.35 billion. Woof! Remember when these guys are private too, man. Stupid. Merck's never done good deals. The only good deal they ever did was Organon. That was completely by accident. I know all the people that did that deal. It was just luck. Dumb luck. They got Keytruda by accident. Well, you never know. I mean, if, if they're right, they might make 10 times their money. They've got a small chance of being right, I suppose. So. But to me, it's a, a billion wasted. Billion here, a billion there. I'm a Merck money millionaire. 
not by random drug companies, so no evidence. All right, let's see. I did some kind of deal here on 1222. This now, what you're watching right now is basically like watching Michael Jordan. When I was watching NVIDIA, that's like, you know, Michael Jordan playing baseball, right? He's a good athlete. He's a good athlete, right? He likes bat and baseball. He's doing it because his pop died. Pop loved baseball, so he tries to go pro in baseball. Swinging the bat, he's all right. But now, I'm looking at Merck. Martin Shkreli looking at Merck. I've been doing this since I was 15 years old, man. Wow, seven investigational ADCs. That's interesting. I've never heard of these guys. Kellum Biotech. Sounds German. Oh, it's a Chinese company. I should have, should have realized. Kellum Biotech. 175 million for seven ADCs. A pretty good deal, I gotta say. <laughs> Including a TROP2. That's a smart deal. Maybe Merck, maybe Merck's, Merck will make a couple good deals. It's been a while. Although, you know, there's a bunch of trap twos. Okay, I already have that one. Let's see, I don't think these guys are public, right? Colin Biotech. I don't think anybody heard of them. The Kellen Group. <laughs> Looks like they have generics here. Oh, it is uh, publicly traded. Hmm. Oh, two four two two. All right, let's see. Sid Sichuan Kellan. Two 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 four two two. All right, it's twenty seven ninety eight Chinese one. Two forty two ninety. Let's see, do I have one here? Should. Six seven seven. One is more or less pegged, right? So it doesn't move. It's been around that valuation for a long time. So this is a six billion dollar Chinese company. Biotech isn't the most volatile sector. Biopharma actually, biopharma's pretty staid. Any one drug company can have very volatile expectations, but so much of uh, the pharma space is pretty pretty slow, actually. Progress moves pretty slowly. There's Len Parzo. Going off patent soon, most likely, interestingly. Approved in EU for CRPC. All right, um, looks like they filed something for Padsev. Padsev's not really their drug. So I feel stupid putting it in here, but I'll put it in here. Seattle Genetics drug, come on. I guess Seattle Genetics will soon be a part of Merck at some point. 81,000 people diagnosed with bladder cancer in 2022. I think most of those are not um, bad, so probably eight or 10,000 are bad, but the eight or 10,000 that are bad are really bad. Um, usually it's liver medicine, rapid death. But for 90% of patients, you can do resection, which isn't fun either. Urothelial carcinoma. It's always bad news when there's an update. Provides update. It's usually not good news. So, in parts of CRPC Padufa extended. All right, now the Moderna results. Now this, I can update the Moderna model as well. Uh, V940 results. This I was super surprised by, and I doubt it works, but I'm just a Moderna hater in, in a lot of ways. I, I respect the vaccine they have, actually, but before the vaccine came out, I didn't think there was any way it would work. I was wrong, obviously. What's Moderna's stock price? Personalized mRNA vaccine. Whatever that means. Color me skeptical. All right, so this is adjuvant melanoma. Hazard ratio is 0.56, p-value 0.0266, but one-sided. That's technically, a, I would think, a failure. <sighs> Recurrence-free survival. We gotta look at the clinicaltrials.gov. There's a better version of this coming out by a separate company. 
because clinical trials that go kind of sucks. I have the NCT number. I got to type keynote 942. NCT 038. 9788. I'd like to see the publication. No, I mean, 157 patients, you tell me you got stat sig? Come on, man. You know, dose. Pretty simple study. Yeah, I'm skeptical of this thing. I think Moderna's a short. I mean, I hate to hate on this company because they, they obviously had a huge win, but look at the stock price. I mean, it basically is implying that there will be COVID forever, which is not gonna happen, right? I mean, COVID's gonna go away. I mean, I think they did a great job with their vaccine and everything, but COVID's not, it's not here to stay, you know? It's unlikely to be, at least. They got very lucky, I, I would agree. I don't know if it's a sham company, uh, but I mean, liver delivery of RNA is not exactly uh, rocket science. I mean, liver delivery of anything. But you know, they should, I mean, it worked. All right, next time we'll do Roche and Pfizer. Um, yeah, Roche and Pfizer, two very big drug companies, gigantic companies. Yeah, that's right, uh, Beirutus, they take your, it is very strange. They take your RNA and put it back inside of you. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but. You know, stranger things have happened.